Hi, this is Fang from Hi-Fi Man. Let's talk about topology diaphragm. Hi-Fi Man began making in the years back in 2006, and the early models were so popular among audiophiles that RE Zero became a bit of a legend. It was the first truly audiophile-grade dynamic driver in the year. Even today, after more than 10 years, there are headphiles who are still fans of this product. Jumping forward to our recent launch of our new flagship in the year, the RE2000, is draw critical acclaim from the worldwide media for its incredible sound quality. Our present line starts with the RE2000 with an MSRP at $2,000 US dollar, is followed by the RE800 at $700 US dollar. The RE800 has also received a wonderful response from listeners. Around the world, it makes one wonder why do the in the years receive such high acclaim? Why was Hi-Fi Man able to launch such ultra high end in the year this year? Well, it was developed thanks to our unrelenting research on mini dynamic driver creation over the past decade. The acoustic leap is due to our latest technology breakthrough we call a topology diaphragm. Which combines the most advanced technology in each field. Let's see how a typical dynamic driver works. The voice coil vibrates in magnetic field created by magnet behind, causing the diaphragm to produce sound by its movement back and forth. As shown in the picture, the diaphragm can be made from different materials such as paper, polymer, metals, etc. Different materials yield different results in its sound quality, as do different surface coating upon the diaphragms. You can coat a polymer diaphragm with metals such as aluminum, titanium, and good. You can also coat it as with non-metals such as carbon. Some people call such coating as diamond diaphragm. Varying the surface pattern is another way to achieve different sound properties. Originally, people curved patterns on diaphragm simply to improve its rigidity. It was later discovered that various surface patterns can result in various sound control. In summary, we have three traditional ways to、um, modulate the sound creation: use different diaphragm materials, different diaphragm coatings, and, let, and lastly, use different surface patterns. You see my fields of study for. Which I gained a PhD in nanotech, involved in tiny mo molecular structure and their physical properties. The diaphragms here show what the molecules look like. Then the thought occurred to me: How would the nano-sized materials deposited on the diaphragm surface alter its properties? Could different materials and structures be used to change the sound quality? In fact, it is similar to using different materials. To plating a diaphragm surface, see the diaphragm of the topology diaphragm. Looking from the face, it's a ring. Yet looking from the side, you can see the coatings. That made me wonder: What if I make different patterns on the diaphragm using nano materials? What that give a different result? That I empirically can trials of many different patterns that found they all sound different to one another. I realize we now have completely new ways to tone the sound produced by a diaphragm. One is to apply different nano materials to deposit on the diaphragm surface. The other is to change the patterns of the nano materials on the diaphragm. To compare this to the more conventional ways of toning, these are the three most common used methods. So upon this. Best, we added over two new methods. That is, using coating of, of different nano materials as well as applying in different patterns. Therefore, we now have five ways to tune a traditional moving coal speaker. Our methods provide more subtle and fine control to change the acoustic parameters to fine tune a sound in ways previously impossible.、Uh, why name it as? Um, topology diaphragm, because by our unique ways of using the nano material and patterns, those nano materials are formed of. We don't need precious metal, and we can achieve 
even greater performance. Fundamentally, this is why HFMS research of the new IEM sound like nothing before them. This is what I call the topology diaphragm in memory of the PhD research that was inspiration behind all this and has influenced my work so proudly. Thank you all for watching.